Hey guys, Will here. I just want to show you how easy it is to make a nice knife like this that you'd be proud to own. Uh, this is a obsidian blade, bone handle, and uh, has a leather sheath. It's really not that hard. All you need are tools. Is an itchy stick, a notch rubber pad, a fine grip, a fine grit abrader, and a handheld pressure flaker. Okay, all you need for materials is a sheath. Now this one comes with a pattern already, so I know how big the finished blade needs to be. Uh, a roll of sinew. This is the fake sinew. And some sort of material to use for a handle. Now you can use either bone, you can use antler, it's really up to you. The last thing you need for materials is something to actually make the blade out of. This is a saw cut slab of obsidian I bought from eBay. This is usually what I use. Now you don't have to use this. You can also use a thick slab of glass. This came from an old color television set. It's the the picture to the TV screen. You can see how thick that is. You can use anything, any kind of glassy material if it's thick enough. So you can pressure flake it without breaking it in half. I'm going to use the slab I got from eBay. Okay. The first thing I do is I take my fine grit braider and I want to really grind all the way around the edges to get some dust on there. And areas you have to watch for on this are the corners here here and especially the tip you don't want to overshot taking this tip off I'm doing a Jim wins method that he uses on his videos paleo man Jim and what you do is you start at the tip you want to come in about an eighth of an inch and you want to space your flakes all the way down this one side about three sixteenths of an inch uh, I'm, no not three sixteenths three quarters of an inch to maybe a half inch so we're not going to start out with very much pressure around this tip so we don't want to knock the tip off So the only thing I'm trying to do at first is just get rid of all these saw marks. It's all the way down this side. Now, as you go down the point, you're going to have to push harder because you're going to have to get your flakes to travel at least halfway to get rid of all these saw marks. So I'm going to try to push with a steady even pressure about a half inch away to three eighths of an inch to a half inch I guess. Steady even pressure a tilt the pad away from me, a forward angle, just a little bit to line it up. And push and then twist my hand to release. Now see, that went all the way across. 
that's good because it didn't overshoot we don't want that okay we'll load up again see and we want to continue that all the way down the point now you'll know you get them right spacing when the edge of the this flake will overlap the edge of the next one so you get rid of all the saw marks all the way down now you don't want it to dive in and make a big hole that's when they're too close together when you got them spaced out just right they'll just make feather edges and they'll overlap now see I didn't push hard enough on that one it didn't work so I'm gonna to have to try to get it from the other side okay see how it kinda of made a dip right there a big hole I was too close so now I'm gonna to have to move farther down I'll tilt it forward a little bit a little bit better going in from the edge about an eighth of an inch oh there's a good one see that that's perfect you got just a little bit of a delta up here to separate the two flakes that was perfect and if I could do that all the way down I'd be all right too soon the reason that released too soon is because I was too close to the edge don't want to do that either it's a little bit better so you got to be back far enough away from the edge and far enough down this way got to be in just the right spot it's a good idea to wear gloves doing this Obsidian is very sharp. Oh man, it's not working out right at all. Wouldn't you know it? It messed up on the demonstration. Okay, that. It's not really too good of a pattern. Now I'm going to have to get, meet all those on this other side to remove all the saw marks. Okay. That's a good one. Now the angle that you push with your hand makes a lot of difference when you're pressure flaking that was the trick to me learning to get that angle right there
That's a good one. See, it went all the way down to here. That's a good flake. See, got the whole side covered. Looks pretty good. Now I can start on the other side. We'll start from the tip. Not pushing too hard. See how it overshot right there? Push too hard. Okay. Now I want to do this side first, I think. Because I can usually push better flakes off this straight edge to clean up any messes. So I'm going to do this side first, the curved edge. 